Hey YouTube, this is David from SpotDex.com and I have a tutorial style video for you guys today. I wanted to do a video for all of you out there trying to get HD quality video on YouTube. You know how you have that HD link on the bottom of your video. Now there are three different versions of videos on YouTube. One is standard quality which is your junky quality, just the regular quality that YouTube has. Two is high quality which is a step up from standard quality and HD is then of course a leap from the rest of them. Now really it's not HD that YouTube has for us it's just really high quality video and you don't need an HD camera at all to do it. Now if you've seen my last two videos you notice that it did have the HD link on the bottom but something's going down with my videos and whatnot so I don't know what the problem is. There's an issue there I have to get fixed but as you can see, my videos were definitely not HD, but I got the HD link there. And if you are using Adobe Premiere or Final Cut, then you should know how to do it. But if you don't, the, the process that I'll show you should give you an idea on how to do it. And I'm going to show this for you for the people that aren't as educated or aren't don't know as much as I might know. And I'm going to use iMovie. Now, this is a clip of my dog's ear that I took, I want to say, about a couple weeks back. And I imported it into iMovie 08 HD. Now, how you import is, if you don't know, you go to File, Import Movies, and then you pick the clip that you want. And then you're going to go to Full 1920 by 1080 and then hit import and it'll import. Now I have this here, I'm just gonna take the whole clip and drag it into my timeline as you could say. And here's the clip. We could play that. Okay, it's not very big of a video. I don't want you guys to wait while I export. But as you can see that's the video and I want this to have an HD link on the bottom. This is already a widescreen video so it should fill up the whole canvas on YouTube and I want it to fill up the whole thing. I want it to look nice and have that HD link so I can play it back in HD. Now like I already said it's not literally HD it's just really high quality and I do not have an HD camera. I didn't record this in HD in fact the quality isn't even that good when I have it in HD, but still it looks better than usual, like with the high quality. So to export it, you need to go to Share. Now there are different options in Share. You have iTunes, Media Browser, YouTube. Don't by the don't use YouTube. It takes forever and it's just horrible. I've had nothing but problems with that when I did use iMovie. What you want to do is you want to go down after this horizontal break to export to movie, export using QuickTime, and Final Cut and whatnot. You're going to want to go to the one that says export using QuickTime. And you will get this dialog box asking you where you want to save it to. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm not going to put it anywhere else. It's just going to show up right on my desktop. So as you see here we have export, movie, whatnot, and all this stuff. We're going to stay with QuickTime movie or you can use any other format. I'd suggest just staying with this one. Use, don't worry about that. Go to options right here. And as you can see, we have movie settings. Now go to, as you can see where it says video, I like to make sure that's the best. So go to settings, make sure it's set on best. All that stuff is good. Hit OK. And also compression type, H.264. And then size. You're going to it should be current right here you want to make go down you want, the little drop box excuse me drop box and go down to 1280 by 720 HD and hit OK OK and save and it'll start exporting now it might take a while for it to export but this is only like a five second clip so it really shouldn't take that much time so we'll just wait I'm sure you have nothing better to do right now.
pretty colors. It's almost halfway done. Almost. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, it's speeding now. Okay, so it is done exporting. As you can see, we have the video right here on the bottom. And if we click it open, it should fill up most of our screen. And you'll see that the video quality isn't very good, but I'll show you. Let me see. It opens up QuickTime. And as you can see, it's really pixelated and all this color and gross stuff. And if you play it, whoops, and if you play it, it doesn't look very good. But that's what I mean. That's what you want to happen. Well, not really want to happen, but it's, it's okay if it happens. See, because when you scale it down, you don't really notice it as much. Well, you do notice it, but it's, you get the point. And once you export it to YouTube or import it or however you want to say it, it's going to have an HD link on the bottom. And in fact, just to prove my point, I will upload this video to YouTube so that you can see that it will give you HD quality. So anyway, guys, I hope that this helped you guys out. And I hope you can start making your own HD movies for YouTube and have fun doing it. Now, this is just a simple guide. You can do the same thing with Adobe Premiere. Um, I'd imagine Sony Vegas. I don't know about... Uh, movie Maker. I'm not sure I haven't tried that. You can do it with iMovie. You can do it with Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, and all those other things. It's very quite simple to do. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.